everyone. Thanks for joining me today here on Spiced Plans. I know that this video has been done a few times, but I got my hands on the Christmas extension pack from the Happy Planner and I wanted to share it with you. So I thought we would unpack this together, take a look at what's inside, and just basically talk about the holidays because Christmas is about to come to the channel. So let's go ahead and take a look. I got this at Joanne and I want to say it was $10.99, but I'm super excited to have it. I did not have the extension pack last year. So I'm happy to have it this year. I am going to set up a holiday happy planner this year. I'm waiting for my holiday cover to arrive and I'm going to set it up with red and green metal discs and um, with this and all kinds of other things that I'm gonna put in. So I will show you that on the channel when I get all of my things together. But let's go ahead and start by taking a look at this. So the first thing that you get, this first tab here, which is very beautiful, it says Happy Christmas, which I think is super cute and very Harry Potter-esque, <laughs> um, is your menu. And you get one, two, two, so four pages of holiday menu planning. And then you also get five pages times two for holiday recipes. So that is very, very cool. I mean, once you put this together, like it seems to me like that you could pull these out and use them every year. I mean, you're obviously not gonna use your holiday menu plan every year because you may not make the same thing every year, but this to me is just perfection. So that's very cool. Next section here is for your party. Oh, what fun. And yes, it will be. So this is your party planner page. And you have a place for decorations, guests, menu, and activities. And they must think that you're gonna plan quite a few parties because you have one, two, three, four, six party planning sheets. So comment below if you plan six Christmas parties because I don't, but we probably do at some point during the holidays from Thanksgiving all the way to Christmas have at least six gatherings. So maybe I could use these in assistance with those gatherings. Um, I don't know if I'd call them parties, but we definitely get together with friends and family probably at least six times over the course of the holidays. So we will see if this gets any use. Next is your cookie exchange, which I am going to have. I'm already kind of mentally starting to work on the guest list for that. That is something that my mother has done every year since I was a child and I thought that I would either join hers or start my own this year and kind of make that a new tradition because I do love when, well, I used to love when I was a child when she would, after her cookie exchange, have this big, huge box of all these different kinds of cookies and everything. So I thought, this is in here, let's do it. Let's just, so that's one party that I can plan or I can plan it with what's behind this. Ooh, so you get your ingredient substitutions, helpful tips for a fun cookie exchange, so this is like a to-do list. Once you have the date and time, preparance and invitations, ask each guest to as the hostess on the day of the exchange. I mean, this is all the information that you need. Then you get all of these places for cookie recipes. So I kind of see this as like something that I would have out while the party is actually happening. Because let's say your friend brings some kind of amazing peanut butter cookie creation thing and you really want the recipe, then you have a place nearby in your holiday planner to write down the cookie recipe. So to me, I think it's perfect. So here is where you will write down what you need for baking, 
party supplies. And this again goes back to, this can totally be one of these parties that you use this sheet to plan for. And you have a guest list. So perfect, everything that you need. All right, then we have cards and gifts. And this to me is so helpful. You would not believe the way that I keep up with my addresses. So this year I'm gonna take the time sometime on a planning period or somewhere to get my holiday Christmas list addresses out of my phone and put them on here. And I will just go ahead and give you full disclosure. Here's how I did it. One year I had all of the addresses and everything just really on like little scraps of paper and on old envelopes and things like that. And what I did was I put together our holiday cards and then before I took them to the post office, I sat in my car and I took a picture of every envelope. And now I have a folder in my phone that is just a folder full of those pictures of envelopes. So when I need someone's address, I go to that folder and I find my addresses. And that is just not how it needs to be done. So I will be adding my Christmas list, my Christmas card list address to this and you've got space for let me see there's 14 on each page it's a lot of Christmas cards I don't math so I can't and this is great but this gift list is fine but let me just tell you if you have children and they know anything about your planner then they will catch you writing down who the gift is for what it is, where you got it, purchase wrapped, etc., in this list. So make sure that you write in a code or something that you have plenty of pages for gift lists. And then an area over here for stocking stuffers. So like I could have one for Hannah, one for Daniel, one for Andy, that's my son, my daughter, my husband. And then if I wanted to do them for my mom and my dad and my in-laws and stuff, then I have room for plenty of stocking stuffers. Next, we have the memory section, and this is the cutest, cutest, cutest divider I've ever seen. I would like to just frame this. I love this little jar with the snow and the snowman. I just think this is the cutest. Oh, I just wanna add this to my memories, so. This is a place where you can kind of write down or maybe even journal out your holiday, which is perfect for me because I love to write and I love to write down stuff in a journal. And I think that this is an amazing way to keep up with your holiday is to write down your favorite memories. And then here you can put the picture. It's just, it's perfect. Then holiday traditions. I would probably start this all the way back at Halloween because we do have family traditions that go from Halloween all the way through the Christmas and New Year's holiday. So I would have plenty to fill up here and plenty to say. So that is the memory section. And I feel like it's getting very messy. And last, we have notes. And you get these adorable little pages that have the candy canes on the bottom to write down caterers phone numbers and what time things are supposed to be delivered and just all kinds of stuff like that and you get let me see one two three four six sheets so like 12 sheets of notes then we get to the stickers so if you didn't want to pony up the money for the sticker book then you can take these and put them in your planner or put them in your Christmas planner or put them well, wherever you want to really. Obviously you can put them on your face or <laughs> you can put these stickers anywhere, but they are adorable stickers. Look at this one. I'm gonna zoom in on that for you. I'm gonna bring it closer. Yes. I love that jar so much. And then this side, is all these Christmas bucket list items. Hot cocoa, donate, volunteer, toy drive, make a holiday playlist, mistletoe, homemade candy. It, believe me, if you were to get through all of these things, 
it would be a lovely Christmas season. Holiday season, Christmas season, you know. So. All right, so we have just finished looking through the Christmas extension pack from the Happy Planner, and I think it is fantastic. I cannot wait to build my Christmas planner here with you guys on the channel and I will be doing that in the next couple of weeks and we can put together the holidays together because I would like to say that Christmas has arrived at the channel so thank you guys so much for watching if you liked this video then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one bye I enjoy your planners